Hi, so as I mentioned in the previous video where I was slicing up the Labradorite, we're going to do this video which is taking you through the steps from start to finish as to how to turn that into a finished piece of jewelry. So I already have some drawn out on some of the pieces that I wanted to do. Just to give you a quick show. So that'll be one there. And if the light will hit it right. There we go. So I've gone through a lot of the material and I think the piece that I want to use for this one with this setting is this stuff here. That purple is really neat. And I think if I put it in right about there I think that'll look really neat when it's done. It almost looks like some sort of space scene with nebula and some of the stars. And just below that black mica, there's uh, another color band as well, but it runs in a different angle. So when I actually round it down, it would probably pick up some of that color as well. So, all right, so let's draw it up and we'll get started.
so now that we got the stone trimmed down, we're ready to start shaping it on the wheel. Uh, I'm going to start with the 100 grit. This isn't a new wheel. This is one that's uh, fairly worn. Uh, I've had it for quite a while, but it's going to work for what I need it to. And uh, so we're going to start getting the basic shape around the edge and get the thickness uh, where I need it to and uh, go from there. And then we'll switch up and, and go to the 600 wheel after that. So let's get started. So now that we got the basic shape with the 100 grit, what we want to do is we want to start to give it a bit of a dome and take these edges off. So what we're going to do is take off our angles now. So we're going to start with the, the main angle all the way around and then the other angle on either side of that just to get the basic start of a dome shape. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, curve it and dome it all the way around. So let's do that. So there's the first edge. And there's the bottom edge, and now the top. So there we have all the edges taken off. Now we can start to dome it.
here we've got the start of our dome that's about all I'm gonna do with 100 grit I'm gonna switch off to the 600 grit now I've got the dome started and I just don't want to take off too much so uh, we'll switch up and go to the 600 grit hard from here so now we're on to the 600 soft wheel and if you're interested in how I make these I do have a video up on the channel where uh, I show the steps as to how to make that uh, this is a new one I just made for this one and uh, we've almost got our fit for this here and I just need to take off a little bit more on the top but that's uh, that's gonna come down as a different um, grits as I go so we're gonna do the 600 soft and then we're gonna go to a thousand soft and then 2000 soft and uh, we'll see where we're at from there and maybe polish it up after that that's where we're at so far. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so we're done with the 600 soft and we're moving on to the 1000 soft now. And our stone almost fits in its setting, it's really close, it's just uh, not even a millimeter off and that's perfect, that's exactly what we want because we're going to be uh, taking it down just a tiny bit more and we want it to fit nice and snug inside there. But it's looking great so far. So here we are onto the final stage, the 2000 grit. It actually took really well to the, the 1000 grit and uh, this 2000 should just finish it off. Um, I'll inspect the stone after that and uh, if it needs to go any higher, definitely will. Um, but after that, we'll just uh, go straight to polish. So let's get going. So now the stone's done, we're going to move on to the polishing stage. This is a compressed felt wheel and what we're going to be using is uh, cerium oxide for the polishing agent. So let's get started.
So there we go. All the polishing is done now. It's got a nice shine. All right, let's move on to setting it. So now we're on to setting the stone, and what we're going to be using is Jewelers Epoxy. It's 330 epoxy. Um, it's a 50-50, a hardener and a resin. And what we're going to do is just mix it up and apply it to the setting, and it'll take about 24 hours to cure. So uh, we'll come back after it's been cured. But so let's uh, get started with that. You want to use equal parts, and I don't need a lot for this, so. I'm just kind of eyeing it. And I like to apply some of them with paint brushes. Uh, they're just cheap throwaways, but also uh, this dilutes, uh, the epoxy dilutes with acetone, so uh, you can clean your brushes afterwards with it as well. So, But you just got a bit more control with a paintbrush for doing settings like this. Oh. Now we don't need a lot for this because the stone already fits really snug. So this is just an extra little bit to help keep it in place. Okay, so there we go. We're all set here. Just gotta make sure that I get the right side in the right way. Make sure there's no resin fingerprints. Again, at the early stage like this as well too, so if you do have uh, acetone um, and you get any glue that's, uh, you can see it here. If you get any glue that's leaking out the back of the stone, um, what you can do is just use uh, just a tiny bit of acetone and just wipe it around. Here we go. So now we're just going to wait 24 hours and let it harden up and cure, and we'll come back.